just want to put it in a safe place before heading to school. Kent, really? It's a long time until lunch, you know. Uh, if only this fluid would move faster. It's viscosity. Viscous fluids flow more slowly. I know what viscosity is. A fluid's resistance to flow. More viscous means it's thicker than... <laughs> Fun boat! Paper towel, please! Yeah! Paper towel! Uh, hey! Not shoe! Paper towel! Did you say Lederhosen? Never mind. I'll get it. Hmm, strange. Von Bolt seems a little out of sorts today. JD, did you remember to change Von Bolt's fluids this morning? Yeah, so boring. Did you know that there used to be fluids on the moon? In fact, the entire surface of the moon used to be fluid. It was covered with oceans of molten lava. The lava oceans cooled and turned into igneous rock. <gasps> the museum's going to be showing a real moon rock. I can't wait. JD, would you like to see the moon rock before it goes on display? <gasps> Could you do that? I'll change Von Bolt's fluids for six months. Deal. Ta-da! <gasps> Super coolicious. Never fear! Von Bolt is here! Be very, very careful! That's on loan from my dad. I sure wish my dad was the museum director. Okay, time for school! Wait! What about the moon rock? Von Bolt will take good care of it. Yeah! You have nothing to worry about. The moon rock could not be safer. Even though accidents are lurking everywhere. Hmm. Kuflui could melt it. Und Dash could eat it. But everything else looks okay. Hmm. I will keep you so, so, so safe, my moon rock. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Fun Bolt, I get to hold the moon rock first. Ah! Oh dear, Von Bolt. At your service, Mr. Edison. Ah! Ah! And the moon rock is still safe. Oopsie. Fix it, please. At approximately 2,192 degrees Fahrenheit, this igneous rock should remelt and stick together. What do you think? Then I'm in big trouble with my dad. What if we made a glacier that covers up the museum for 10,000 years so no one can get in? What if we ask the Smithsonian for a piece of their moon rock? Or what if we fly to the moon and get a new one? How do you suggest we do that? Sometimes the most unlikely path leads to success. You should visit Robert Goddard, the father of modern rocketry. Activating Elva. Robert Goddard, at your service. Can you help us get to the moon? Sure. You must first escape Earth's gravity. I'll need a volunteer to show you how to do it. Me! 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 Let's try a small cannon first, shall we? Uh, did you say cannon? Now, 
If our volunteer could go faster, he would go farther before hitting the ground. Still okay? This baby can fire a projectile at the speed of 25,000 miles per hour. And that's the speed needed to escape Earth's gravity. Gravity's got nothing on me. Thanks, Mr. Goddard. One more thing. Don't forget, there's no air on the moon. Was your visit to Dr. Goddard helpful? Yes! We need someone who can fly 25,000 miles per hour and doesn't need to breathe air. I gladly volunteer. Your old rocket boots? <laughs> you can't get across the street in those. A little trust, please. Strap on the speedometer. The first step in anything new often brings the most questions. I have a question. What are we going to do if this doesn't work? Fire up the rocket boots! I always loved those boots. I will be coming to a soft landing on the lunar surface in five, four, three... Ah! Ah, ah! Nailed it! Give us a report, Von Vault. It is very, very quiet. No atmosphere on the moon, so no sound. Except I can hear your radio transmissions. Continue your report. I just blasted tons of moon dust in all directions. We science robots like to call that ejecta. And I feel so much lighter. Gravity on the moon is only one sixth of the Earth's. Woohoo! Actually, <laughs> The surface of the moon is 253 degrees Fahrenheit. Hot, 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 hot! Must get to the dark side of the moon! Ah! Uh, 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 it's 387 degrees below the zero here! Hat, mittens, and a lovely matching scarf. Von Bolt, do you see a replacement moon rock? We have a winner! And look how strong I am! <laughs> wow! <laughs> that must weigh a ton. Ha, ha, ha! You forgot that gravity on the moon is only one-sixth of the Earth's. Dude, you're not on the moon anymore. Oopsies. Ah, I am not damaged. Dad's never going to believe that's the same moon rock. Allow me. I scan the original moon rock and can make an exact replica. My! Am I that handsome? Von Bolt, will you please quit playing around? Me? Playing around? That does it! If you won't use your laser right, I will! I'm undamaged! Ew! What is that goop? It seems to have the same viscosity as peanut butter. Ew! Wait, 
when I changed his fluids this morning... <laughs> Empty. Aha! A little kaflui should work just fine. Bonbold's fluid should be less viscous, and that means thinner. Here! The moon rock, people! Okay, okay. Okay, Von Bolt. Replacement moon rock, please. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Von Bolt, you still have a tiny spot of kaflui on your face. Oh, would somebody please hand me a paper towel? <laughs> <laughs> Allie, do you want to see my new pet? I call it Kaflui. He's so cool! Where did you buy him? I didn't buy him, I made him. How? With this cool Thomas Edison Kaflui slime kit. First up, we need to make the guar gum solution. Here, sir, Rob. We need to put our solution in the jar and leave it to set. Now we need to make our STB solution. I'm gonna give it a stir. Now we have everything we need to make Mr. Kaflui. Mr. Kaflui's starting to take shape. That is amazing. Why don't we use the magnet to play around with it? Look how it just sticks to it. Whoa. Look at it go. Do you think I should play a trick on Rob, guys? Okay, let's see if this works. Ah! Oh, what is that? Woo! Ah! Ghost! Ha! Ah, gotcha! That was sick! Glow in the dark slime from the Kaflui Slime Kit. To get your Thomas Edison Secret Lab Science Kits, go to the Go Retailers nearest you. See you guys!